Hi, this is Gary Kofak. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about natural birth control that probably your doctor won't tell you about. Permanent birth control is the method of choice for a third of all women worldwide. Families want to plan their life according to their income, their life goals, and their lifestyle. Now, having children in an environment where they are not wanted is damaging for both sides, for both the parent and, of course, the child. Family planning is also crucial for the environment, and it seems to offer a way to keep the reins of control in our own hands. The birth control op options that are often recommended by medical doctors include the contraceptive pill, which is taken daily, or contraceptive shots, which are taken once every three months, or a hormone-releasing implant that protects from, against pregnancy for up to four years. There is also a weekly hormone releasing patch uh, that you put on and you change it once a week. Uh, more invasive methods include an intrauterine device inserted into the cervix that prevents pregnancy for up to 12 years or irreversible surgical sterilization such as tubal ligation or device sterilization that are hormone free or a complete hysterectomy. Now, the hormonal methods stop ovulation, the release of an egg during the fertile period of a female, and cause the thickening of the cervical mucus, making it difficult for the egg and sperm to meet. Hormonal methods are between 99 and 99.6% 99 uh, effective in preventing pregnancy. The hormonal methods have their pros in reducing the risk of endometrial and ovarian and colorectal cancers. The, these pills are also used to manage medical conditions such as acne, prolonged painful periods, endometriosis, and menopause symptoms. However, these pills also have their cons. They may increase the risk of breast and cervical cancer and increase the risk of developing a blood clot which increases a person's risk of suffering from stroke and a heart attack. People who smoke are especially at risk for developing blood clots when using birth control pills. Also, uh, voluntary sterilization methods have their pros and cons as well. The pros may include immediate effectiveness and the convenience of a one-time operation, often without side effects, and reducing overall costs. Now, the cons include their complexity and the risks that are inherent in any surgical procedure and its undisputable finality. Although these permanent both birth control methods are not fatal, they, there is a higher incidence of morbidity following hysterectomies, which must be justified. So how do you know which method is best for you and your lifestyle? Well, it is important to note that you may not get unbiased advice if you go to your doctor for recommendations. There are financial incentives that doctors get for recommending different methods of birth control to their patients, unfortunately. And financial incentives are often the reason why doctors do not offer alternative methods. Doctors don't get money for recommending alternative methods and treatments or uh, they may just simply not be acquainted with these effective alternative methods. So firstly, it is important to understand that ovulation is a sign of a woman's health, implying there is adequate hormonal and fertility function in her body. The health of menstruation is essential for the prevention, the diagnosis, and the treatment of different disease states relating to hormonal disorders and ecological abnormalities autoimmune and genetic disorders and cancer and pregnant, uh, pregnancy related issues. Although we can intervene with these natural processes through innovation, the question is whether we really want to interrupt these processes in such unnatural ways. So for our health, the answer is really not. No, we do not. There is no reason to harm your health and reduce your well-being for contraceptive measures because there are alternative measures and it is also good to know that there are only six days during every cycle when a woman can get pregnant. There are only six days since a woman ovulates only once during each cycle the egg can be fertilized for a maximum of 18 hours and after having sexual intercourse the male sperm will remain active and fertile in the female body for a maximum of five days. So to summarize, this means that there are only six days in every cycle when a woman can get pregnant. 
five days before ovulation and on the day she ovulates. Therefore, I do not see a reason to have body parts removed or produce uh, ongoing inflammation in the body um, with the intrauterine devices or uh, take daily hormonal therapy and suffer the consequences that may be really long-term consequences that these methods offer for six days of possible pregnancy. All that needs to be identified are when these days occur to prevent pregnancy. And I found a specific device that I stumbled upon many years ago when I was searching for a natural solution. Um, I found it very highly effective, easy to use, and with absolutely no side effects, of course, because it's hormone-free and non-invasive, and it leaves your family planning in your own hands. There is also no environmental impact by artificial hormones. There is no depression, no loss of fertility in case you change your mind, and it won't, which happens, and I've heard it happen. I've seen it happen with the clients of mine, and it won't affect your health and your weight in the long term. So what could be better? I want to recommend this device to you personally. I have used it for over a decade and I can safely say that there is nothing better on the market to prevent unwanted pregnancy. It is cheap in the long run and it is natural and effective, very effective. In fact, it is it is it has the same effectiveness as the contraceptive pill. Nothing could be more suitable. It is a small computer that takes about three months to learn your body through a self-learning algorithm. All you have to do is measure your morning basal body temperature, which is the temperature your body is immediately after you wake up. It takes 30 seconds and you must still be in bed, lying down without any movement. So um, you take your measurement, your body temperature measurement with a small handy computer and after one to two months of the learning phase, the computer will tell you when you need to have protected sex because you are fertile or when you can have unprotected sex because you are infertile at that uh, uh, during those few days. The computer also helped me detect when I had cancer because my body temperature was all over the place. It also helped me detect when I had corona due to the slight temperature shifts that, that, I, uh, that I saw in the mornings. This led me to get tested fast and thereby prevented many other people from getting the virus from me even though I was asymptomatic and I would have uh, not guessed that I had corona. After taking your body temperature with this machine, immediately upon waking up while you're still in bed lying down for one month, the behavior becomes ingrained in you and you never forget to do it again. In the beginning, you may forget. So it does take about two months until you, uh, until you get accurate readings for you and your fertility levels. Now, I must warn you that you are uh, if you are taking contraceptives and now, before using this d device, it takes your body a few months to return to normal. So I would not start to use this device until two months after I stopped taking contraception. The same goes for an intrauterine device. Uh, you must remove it as it causes ongoing inflammation that raises the body temperature and it changes it. So you will get inaccurate, inaccurate results. It is important to state that any uh, form of inflammation will lead to false fertile days. So you will be getting more red days than you actually have. Although this device does cost $500, it is a one-off price, maybe a little bit expensive, but you have no more costs after that, none whatsoever. It has uh, no side effects on your health and no ongoing co costs, so it is well, well worth it. You don't have to buy uh, the pill, you don't have to do any operations, you don't have to do anything. Basically, you just have this machine and then you use it. <laughs> and I must state that I have absolutely no benefit or profit recommending this device except for the benefit of other people uh, um, to your health as a result of using this device. The device I recommend, which I forgot to state <laughs> its name, is called Lady Comp. It's a German product and you can check it out on Amazon. I will put a link at the bottom of this video or the Lady Comp website, which I will also put a link at the bottom. There may be other companies producing devices that are based on the same principle. I have not heard about them, uh, so I don't know and I've, I have no personal experience with them, so I cannot recommend them. So. I hope that this video has helped you and um, 
I hope you will uh, follow my recommendation and spare yourself a lot of suffering. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place in a more natural way. Thank you very much for joining.